ACT Science, the five minute version. ACT Science is daunting to many students. When you first encounter it, it definitely feels strange, difficult, and in some cases, overwhelming. Here's the funny thing. ACT Science is much, much simpler than it looks. Basic details first. The science test asks 40 questions in 35 minutes. Notice how that is the exact same structure as the reading test? Like on the reading, timing can be a challenge here. That said, once you're approaching it in the right way, this section should be easier to finish in time than the reading. The questions are spread out over six or seven passages and fall within three categories, research summary, data representation, and conflicting viewpoints. Within each passage, the questions are designed to go from simple to complex. And here's how ACT questions get more complex. The first question on a passage might ask you about one data point on a graph. The last question might ask you to compare three data points. Those difficult ACT science questions cover essentially the same ground as the easy ones, they just get harder because they're more complicated. Another way that questions can be difficult is by being really long and wordy. Questions that are long don't necessarily require tougher thinking, they're just longer. When you get to one like this, make the decision based on timing to tackle it now, or skip it and come back to it to make sure you finish the rest of the section first. Let's talk about the different types of questions. Research summary questions make up about half of the test. On these, you'll be given a summary of an experiment or several related experiments. Some of the questions will tackle stuff related to experimental procedure. For example, you could be asked to identify which variable was independent in an experiment. Data representation questions are typically simpler than research summary questions. They involve reading charts and graphs to extract data and interpret it. Most of our students like these questions because they require less work. You just go to the graph or chart and find what they ask you to find. These can get hard if the data is presented in an unusual way. If you have time, dig into the rest of our science course to learn some of the strange ways that ACT can show you data. Conflicting viewpoints are everyone's least favorite passage type. On these, you'll read the viewpoints of two to four students or scientists, and guess what? They conflict. Why are these everyone's least favorite? Well, first, they're text heavy, and second, you have to read them. On all of the other passages, you don't have to read the entire passage. In fact, on every other passage, you should not read all the way through, because you'll never get through the whole section if you do. Unfortunately for you, on the conflicting viewpoints passage, you do have to read. You should read for two things, main idea, and points of agreement and disagreement. One strategy is to consider skipping the conflicting viewpoints passage, completing the rest of the science test, then coming back and tackling conflicting viewpoints at the end. That way, you'll get through all of the quicker passages first. Here's an important question. How much science is there on the science test? Very little, as it turns out. Is that surprising? This test asks you to think like a scientist, but it rarely relies directly on your knowledge of science. You will have to know some basic science vocabulary. You have to know what a hypothesis is or why experimenters would include a control group, for example. But very few questions require you to know any specific science content. You would never have to recall Avogadro's number or the distance from the Earth to the moon or the molecular formula of glucose. If that knowledge is ever required to answer a question, it'll be given to you within the passage. There are a few questions that require really basic science knowledge, between zero and four questions per test, but the knowledge they test you on is the most fundamental science knowledge there is out there. You might have to know, for example, that the freezing point of a substance is the same as its melting point, or that a pH of seven is neutral, and a pH lower than seven is acidic. The good news about those science knowledge questions, there are no more than four of them on any test we've ever seen. And if you have time to study the rest of the course, we are going to teach you all of the science content that's been on the ACT over the past 15 years. If you don't have that time, don't sweat it. You'll face a maximum of four science knowledge questions on your test. Ready for the number one strategy for the ACT science test? Your number one most important strategy is to identify the information that's important and ignore all the rest. That means that on every passage besides conflicting viewpoints, you wanna skip directly to the questions. Learn only as much as you need to solve each question and then move the heck on. When you can read the question, identify the key information within it, and find that information in the passage, you will be an ACT science test master. Let's sum up. ACT science is not nearly as difficult as it seems. You should ignore as much of the given information as possible. Keep your thinking simple 
and know that this is not a test of your science knowledge. It's really just a test of how quickly you can find information from graphs and tables.